Welcome to a MBA gem. In this video, I am going to discuss about debouncing. What is debouncing? Why is it needed? A simple switch is basically two metal contact. The action of touching metal contact physically works in a different manner. That is, the metal contacts bounce upon each other, making the switch on and off for a time after impact from pressing action by user. Thus, if sensing element is sensitive enough, it registers multiple button press from a single action. This can introduce errors in the system you are using and can hinder a lot of process. Thus, to avoid this misinterpretation of button press, the concept of switch debounce is needed. This helps in registering the switch action correctly. Switch debounce can be achieved through software programming as well as hardware circuits or hardware programming too. In simple terms, when two motor contacts are pressed against each other, there will be a signal that will be high low, high low, high low for a minute duration at 700 microseconds to 200 microseconds. Now this can trigger many possibilities. It can give a wrong message to our Arduino and our output LED will freak out. Thus, to avoid this type of errors uh, from the tactile switch or any switch, rebouncing software is needed. Here is a simple circuit. I just connect uh, the any resistor, red ohm or T30 ohm, it will do. And connect it to pin number 7. Now, let's go through some code. I have different variables that is pin number 7 to input pin and pin number 13 to output pin. I have also defined two variables that has a long data time because of the milis that we are going to use, milis function we are going to use in this code. The 200 value is assigned to the debounce variable. In the void setup, we I have defined input pin and output pin as input and output. Also, if the output flickers, then increase just increase the value of the rebounds that is 200 to 500 or 200 to 300. In the while loop, I have this scan or the reading variable will have the status of the input pin that is 0 or 1. And if the reading is high, that means it is 1 and the previous value is low. Also, the millis function minus time is greater than the debounce value. Then only the loop will perform and it will invert the previous state of the LED. If the state was high, if the LED was high, then it will uh, make the LED uh, pin low or pin number 13 is low. And uh, if it was low, then it will make the pin number 13 as high. And after this is executed, we will just update the pin that it should be high or low. And the reading uh, would be stored in the previous uh, variable. Let's compile the code and upload. When I press the push button, the LED will turn on. And when I push it, press it again, then the LED will be off. Now, I am pressing the push button for a long duration time. See, the LED will be light up, but I have still pressed the push button, and the LED is not flicking. Means on and off, on and on and off. It stays in the uh, pre, uh, in the present state only. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.